Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are discussing an important topic, incineration. What exactly is it? How does it work? Is it safe? Incineration is a waste treatment process that involves burning garbage at very high temperatures. This isn't just an open fire. It's done inside special facilities called incinerators. The goal is to reduce the volume of waste and destroy harmful substances and in many cases, produce energy in the form of electricity or heat. Here's how it works. First of all garbage is collected and sorted. Then it's loaded into furnace. In furnace waste is burned above 850 degrees Celsius. This burning produces hot gases, ash and sometimes energy. These gases go through filters and scrubbers to remove harmful substances. There are different types of incineration systems. Let's look at a few. Mass burn incineration, this is the most common. Mixed waste is burned, without sorting. Refuse derived fuel, or RDF, here, waste is first processed, to remove non-combustibles. What's left is shaped into fuel pellets, and burned. Fluidized bed incinerators, these use hot sand, or other materials, to improve combustion efficiency. Each system has its pros and cons, depending on what type of waste is being burned, and what the goals are. What kind of trash do we actually burn? Municipal solid waste. Medical waste. Hazardous industrial waste. Sea weight sludge. It's important to note that, not all waste is suitable, for incineration. Some materials, like metals, and certain toxic chemicals, must be handled differently. Now, let's look at, advantages of incineration. Incineration can reduce the volume of waste by up to 90%. Burning waste creates heat which can be used to boil water, spin turbines, and generate electricity. Burning medical waste destroys viruses and bacteria. In crowded cities, landfills take up valuable space. So incineration is a space-saving option. Burning waste is faster than waiting for it to decompose in a landfill. But, like most technologies, incineration has drawbacks too. Burning garbage can release harmful gases like dioxins, furans, and heavy metals, which are dangerous to health and the environment. Building and running an incinerator is expensive. It requires advanced technology and skilled workers. The ash left behind often contains toxic substances and must be handled carefully. If waste is always burned, there's less motivation to recycle. Even though it produces energy, incineration still emits carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas that contributes to climate change. In developing countries, incineration is less common due to high costs and lack of infrastructure. So, what does the future hold? With better technology, incineration is becoming cleaner and more efficient. Plasma arc incinerators, for example, use extremely high temperatures to break down waste into basic elements with almost no pollution. Also, stricter environmental regulations are pushing industries to upgrade their systems. But, experts say the key isn't just better incineration. It's producing less waste in the first place through smarter packaging, reuse, and recycling. Incineration is a high-temperature, waste treatment method that reduces trash volume and can generate energy. It has clear benefits, but also some serious environmental and economic concerns. Whether it's the right solution depends on how it's managed, what waste is burned, and what alternatives are available. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more science and environment content.